Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you all of my hamster supplies, but just a little bit organised. So my hamster organisation. Okay, first off I'm going to start off with this bag. This bag is just full of all the, um, all of my spare supplies for the hamsters. I've got some of them out for you. So I have this um, house. People call them compartments as well. This is some, this is like a spare, you know when you get water bottles, you have to like connect them. So, that's what I got. I have this tunnel here. See, oh, seesaw. You could easily connect it to that. But I'm not going to do that now. This is Coco's spare house, palace, compartment, whatever you like to call it. A nice spare wheel. No other hamster has used this before. Uh, what else do I have? A toy. A, this is a wooden toy. I have a ball. This ball I don't recommend because Coco keeps it um, escaping. Escaping. Um, sometimes when she just rolls, the doors come unloose. They go really loose and um, she escapes. This ball is from Morrison's in the UK. Um, I got this from England because I live in England, so... I don't recommend them. They do work, but you just have to give them um, super supervision whilst they're in it because they do escape. It's their water bottle. So if I get this, I might see. So all you have to do is just get the water bottle and you connect it. Well, you don't connect it, but you like put it there. Then when you get bars, you... um stick it there. So, it's pretty simple. You should know that already. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. That's all the um, spare supplies and the toys. Okay. Now I am on to this pink box. Up there, that pink box. This is Coco's old cage that we're going to sell her in because she's going, she's unselling her, giving her away. And I know who to, but I'm not going to mention because obviously I'm not going to say this over the internet. But this is her cage, old cage, um, way too small for her, but I'm not going to sell her in the new cage because if I get another hamster, then. Um, you know. Anyway, these are her treats. Well, Molly, Molly's treats. These are their treats. Um, these are actually dog treats, but, um, they, Marley, I actually found out that he doesn't like them. He eats them, but I don't think he usually, he doesn't like them, really. But here are Sushi Bites, Munch Crunch. Um, these are by the same brand. So you only get these about once. One of each every two weeks. Um, they have these fruity shapes by Rose Stack. And I don't know why that's in here. Might be useful. And this is their like treat box. If I try and open, I will show you what's in it. Here are the chocolate drops. Here, chocolate drops. And these are the fruity shapes that I just showed you. Oops. Oh well, fruity shapes. Ew. Okay. So, oh, never mind that. That was a long story. I want to say I have got another box to put their treats in, but I haven't. Now I'm onto this box here. These are just like the cleaning supplies and the food. This is my little friend cage disinfectant. This was from Morrison's in the UK, in England. <laughs> here are 
Right, here is the wood shavings here by Pets at Home. The best shavings yet. And this is the food. I forgot what this food is. Oh, it's this food. Sorry. Pets at Home. I got this free with Coco's Cage. My Marley doesn't like that food. A little bit of spare sawdust. And this is the best food. I definitely recommend this. Wag. I got that from Morrison's as well. I'll say again in the UK. <laughs> I have this toothbrush just to clean them in. There is no germs on there because I boiled. I got boiling water and I stuck it in there for like half an hour. So that killed all the germs. This is just to clean the cages with, so I just like scrub the cage disinfectant. And here is just office paper. So yeah, very organised. Um, scattered across the room, but around. Anyway, goodbye. Huh.